going to ride the horse that went into a bar? Not here in Cheltenham on the eve of Gold Cup and St Patrick's Day. But back in Ireland, when the unthinkable happened for trainer John Shark Hanlon. The horse Hewick he bought for just £800 at sales defied all the odds and went to run the American Grand National. And after such a historic win, Hanlon wasn't going to let his horse miss out on a trip to his local to celebrate once they came home. After all, Hewick is a celebrity in these parts. Well, I'm down to the pubs for this and um, everyone else was going to the pub, why couldn't he? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it became a viral, didn't it? We gave it a little sort of. It went viral, so I did it. We had seven hundred thousand people that loved it. It was amazing. So it was like to go over there, take on the Americans, and the win the way he won. It was unreal. And in fairness to the American people, they gave us a great cheer and they gave us a great boost. So did it when we were there. He's a cool dude. He never worries about that. He takes everything in his stride. He's a real people's horse. Oh, it was amazing. The buzz, the thrill. We didn't know what was happening, it just happened. We moved the tables. You and saw chairs a horse coming from the Just The horse was there, and that was it. It's great for a local lad. It was brilliant. This win was proof that sometimes in racing, the outsiders do have their day. The trainers on a much smaller budget with few horses can take down the elite. Now the trainer, nicknamed Shark from his days playing hurling, has his sights set on even bigger fish, starting with the Gold Cup. He's in good form, so he is. He's in right form. He's, he's, he, he got a lovely break after coming back from America. Yeah. So he's in really good form. And um, the sun is shining. He loves the sun. Yeah. So... Um, He's an amazing horse. He's just an 800 pound horse. You never think that you could buy an 800 pound horse. Yeah. But like to have a winner in Cheltenham, it's not the money, it's the glory. It's like something that never happened and it might never happen again, but maybe it'll happen. Hewick took the boat across the Irish Sea before arriving in the middle of Wednesday night here at Cheltenham, settling into his horse hotel in the stable block there with the team dreaming of Gold Cup glory. But well, Hanlon is in the mood for more dancing and back home in the local pub, they're already dreaming about what could happen. Can you imagine Hewick winning that? <laughs> the whole place would go haywire, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> go haywire anyway, but <laughs> if Shark pulls this one off, <laughs> the ten bank holidays in a row. <laughs> It is a fairy tale, so it is, and hopefully the fairy tale don't stop. In the celebrations as well, here with the stand packed with the, just over 68,000 pe people. I, th this is genuinely a coincidence. Do you know which horse this is? Oh yeah, this is Hewick. I can't believe this. Maybe this is a sign. There he goes. That is Hewick, the horse we're talking about, the 800-pound horse that won the American Grand National. That's unbelievable. That's made my morning. Oh, that's in Hewick at the time. That's, that's, yeah, is that, that a is, sign? That is a sign, isn't it? Paddy <laughs> Hanlon, uh, the shark handling son riding him, but that is a sign. He was just coming up from the all the horses exercise in the morning over here in the middle behind the big screen. That's where most of the Irish horses have a, a trot and a canter in the morning.